Aaron, where are we? We are at Windrock Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, getting ready to do something neither of us have ever attempted before. It's real early, bud. It's yep. like 7 a.m. Yep, the um, sun's just coming up. Why, why are we here at 7 a.m.? We are going to drive this 2022 Polaris Razor Pro R and that 2022 Polaris Razor Turbo R for 24 hours straight. Why are we running them for 24 hours straight? We were delivered both of these units with zero hours on them, uh -huh. and they have a 25-hour break-in period. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, it's great. So we can't do anything with them, mm -hmm. test them, really. We can't get the measure of the machine until they have 25 hours on them, because you can't bury the throttle yep. until you've bedded the rings. Sure. So we've got a lot of driving to do. Okay. Well, um, it's not just going to be us, though, right? No, we have a crew of uh, eight guys, including us, and uh, you know, we're going to go in three-hour shifts, which seems responsible when you sure. say it, you know, on paper. Uh -huh. uh, we'll see how that lasts, uh -huh. and uh, each guy's going to get a three-hour shift in each rig, and uh, ain't nothing to it but to do it. I think we ought to... Do they know that we're doing it for 24 hours? We told them. Okay. It was in the email. All right. All right. Did anybody read? That's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about All right. It. We're good. All right. Yep. All right. Let's do it. All right. I gotta say, the Pro R is everything that Polaris promised us. It pulls from zero to redline. It just goes and goes and goes. There's torque everywhere. A combination of that and the PVT, you never have to worry. It is as happy crawling up a mountain as it is wide open down a gravel road. The Pro R, it's, I don't know, 18 inches longer by wheelbase than the Turbo R, and that shows. It is so stable. They don't dish out praise that handsome that often. and. and here we are. It take me on down the river where the kids can't find the red and the center. Oh, where the gray can't dry. I sat down the road down the river with a hand on a coat and a finger on the trigger and low. Before it's on and try to find me. So take me on down. Almost 11 hours in exactly right now. Yep. And uh, what you can't see um, is a partially disassembled Pro R. No fault of the Pro R. I gave um, a very clear, very ominous speech this morning about how the supply chain had put us in a tight spot. We couldn't get any spare wheels and tires. And on the very first run, I put a spectacular gash in the sidewall. Well, we got that one fixed. That one wasn't, uh, we, we had a sidewall slug in it in about, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, and which worked great. Yep, sealed it right up, and it seemed that everything would be hunky-dory. Hunky-dory from there, and uh, run two. Run two. We put a screen door in uh, the same wheel. Yep, um, windowed it, as they say. Windowed it. We went down to the general store. They sell a thing called a glue tread. Yeah, it's a bunch of super glue and a piece of rubber. We had, uh, we, I guess, like, run two and a half with the Pro R. Uh, the screen door came open mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. uh, so we had to go pick the Pro R up. Yep, and trailer it back. And uh, this whole time, the Razor Turbo R has been running back and forth. I think between the two of them, we've managed uh, six laps. So, well, and you know, we're off roading. You know, this yeah, kind of stuff. Exactly right. We were talking about this earlier. <clears throat> if if off roading was all cupcakes and roses, it would be boring. Why right? would you do it? Why would you do it? Some of the fun is squaring off against an obstacle. Sometimes that obstacle is a rock. Sometimes it's uh, two to three holes in your tire. Yep. And uh, either way, you know, you're left without a choice. You yeah. have to meet it. Yeah. Right. Um, or you put it on the trailer and go home, and that's no fun. Yeah, no, we, we wouldn't do that. Yeah. And, uh, so. so, anyway, that's, that's the sit rep. Uh, it's about to get dark. We're going to keep driving after two or three burgers. So, you know, no starry night for us, but uh, again, type two fun. Yeah.
and I have two fun. We're gonna get it done. Check out utvdriver.com and all of our social media channels for news, reviews, and more every day. That's it. That's, that's it. Like, that's <laughs> I got. Yeah, that's perfect. Are you looking at me like that? No. For? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, those are in fact off the bee. Oh my. Go ahead and turn the lights off if you don't care to. Did you stop and take a look at the 